Windows File Explorer is used to navigate and manage drives, files and folders on your computer. One of the very important applications available to Windows users is File Explorer. So there are multiple ways to launch File Explorer. One of them is from the taskbar, and this is how I'm going to demonstrate it. You just click on the File Explorer, and it has uh, multiple different sections, which we're going to look at momentarily. Quick Access, OneDrive, this PC, Libraries, and Network. Libraries is um, something that was introduced in Windows 7, so you have to enable them. I use them, so I have them available. You may not see libraries on your machine. But let me close File Explorer for now. And I'll show you another alternative ways to launch it. Uh, you do right mouse click on the Start button, and as you can see, File Explorer is available, which is the same applications. And the third way might be through Cartana Bar. If you type File Explorer, uh, this is the first app that uh, shows up. Let's look at the key features of File Explorer. I'm going to launch it again. And uh, as I mentioned, Quick Access is uh, an area where you can pin uh, quickly accessed folders that you need. By default, uh, desktop downloads and documents and pictures are pinned here. If you don't like something being here, you can unpin it. For example, if you don't like uh, maybe pictures uh, be in this area, you can uh, right mouse click and then select unpin from quick access and then it removes uh, pictures from there. As we go down the list, OneDrive is Microsoft's technology that allows you to exchange information. Uh, you have to sign up. Uh, there is a free account which uh, has, I believe, 15 gigabytes of uh, storage, which is very nice. If you connect it from multiple PCs, you should be able to access uh, OneDrive, uh, which is a cloud storage uh, from Microsoft. And if you need more space, I think there's a paid version of that. Uh, so I clicked on this. It prompts me to enter my email address, assuming I already have an account for sign-in. If you don't have it, uh, you can sign up uh, with OneDrive. I'm going to close uh, this dialog box and keep going. This PC allows you to access uh, two key folders of uh, this workstation, uh, as well as uh, access to Drive C. Libraries, I mentioned this is the feature that Microsoft is trying to retire. So I uh, use it because I used it since Windows 7, uh, but you uh, do not have to. Quick Access is a much nicer equivalent of libraries. And then network allows you to see which uh, workstations are connected to your local network so you can uh, connect to those workstations uh, and exchange data. Let me show you a couple cool things you can do with File Explorer since as the uh, name implies it's very useful to work with the files. So I clicked on the documents and do have some sample documents here and your view might be different and I'll explain you why it might be different and how to change the view. So you see names of the files, date modified, type of the file, and size. Sometimes you don't see file extensions. I specifically enabled them, uh, and I'll show you how to do that in case you're interested. But if you move through the tabs, and this is the ribbon interface, which, uh, as you can see, uh, has multiple tabs. In this case, File, Home, Share, and View, and you can move between the tabs. And in the Home tab, you have most frequently used functions. For example, you can... Uh, have a new folder created by clicking a new folder button and you can has uh, the name of the folder by default it's a new folder name but you can just say it's uh, documents you just type in the name um, in the view you select what type of view um, that you would like to have and you can switch between details which is what I currently have maybe to list view which is more uh, simpler to understand view details has uh, a lot of information or maybe content view uh, or just the icons uh, small extra large or large or medium uh, types of icons uh, what I mentioned to you is that I enabled extensions because I'd like to see what type of file uh, it is before clicking on the file um, and to do that uh, I showed you uh, you need to click on the options again I'm gonna walk you through you click on the view and then click on the options uh, button and it brings up the folder options dialog box and there are multiple tabs here one is general tab uh, another one is view tab and this is where you select display uh, file extensions here as well as uh, display some other options 
So the specific option for file extensions is hide extensions for known file types. But I'd like to see everything, uh, so I enable a lot of information. Even I'd like to see protected operating system files. So I'm going to click uh, show you another tab here, which is search specific tab before I click cancel. Um, so there are some settings of uh, allows you to configure, for example, search options and then uh, what to do when searching on indexed location. Um, this is helpful uh, because uh, if you search items in Cortana bar, you can also search for local items and indexing allows you to speed up the search if you have many documents. So you point where the index uh, would be located and in which folders you will be indexing. And then here in Cortana, if you type the name of the document uh, and its index, it will allow you to find the document very quickly. Let me show you a couple ways to work with documents. I'm going to um, select, for example, sample word file here. Uh, and as you can see on the right, it's a quick preview of this file, uh, which is available for certain file types. Uh, for example, Microsoft Word, Excel, any Office product will have it, PDF will have it, and a lot of other applications will have it. So what you can do with the file is um, you can do a right mouse click and you can uh, copy the file. And if you click on another place, uh, you can paste the file, right? So simple copy and paste. And what Microsoft uh, File Explorer did, um, it um, created a duplicate of this file at the bottom and dash copy added a copy uh, to the name of the file. So what I'm going to do, you can uh, copy file in one folder, navigate to another folder, and then paste file in another folder. So I did copy and paste in the same folder just to simplify, uh, and it's good for you to understand what, I, what just happened. But if I, for example, would like to create a duplicate of this file uh, in another folder, I need to click Copy, navigate to the folder Documents, uh, and then do a paste here, and this will uh, copy and paste file here. Uh, to go back, you click the back button, back to the documents, right? And we see uh, two files because they sorted in alphabetical order. So what I'm going to do now, I'm going to show another way to copy documents. I'm going to click on the file and drag and drop it. Uh, and I'm going to drop it, and it's going to move the copy file into the documents. I'm going to release the file, and it uh, went right into the documents folder. If this video was helpful, make sure to click the like button in your browser. Also, please help your friends to learn this topic faster by sharing this video with them. And if you would like to be the first one to know about new videos to help you reach your goals faster, make sure to subscribe to my channel. Make sure to check out my other relevant videos and subscribe to my YouTube channel. We have a lot of great stuff planned in the pipeline and I don't want you to miss any of it. And if you'd like to get notified about all the new stuff that are coming out, make sure to subscribe to my email list as well. All links are here on the screen. Make sure to click to stay in touch. Thanks again for watching.